Hello everyone and welcome back to another daily tutorial video. And today I am going to be showing you how to use the color trigger in Geometry Dash 2.2074. So here I just have my Geometry Dash Guides level, the level I use for my Geometry Dash Guides. And I'm just going to be placing down a color trigger and I will be placing down an object. In this case, a spike, just a pure white spike and we are going to be changing aspects of the spike. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press two on my keyboard to switch to the edit tab and click on, and I'm going to be clicking on the color trigger. There we go. And I'm gonna click on edit object. And here, you just choose the color ID you wanna mess with. For example, in this case, it would be object. I don't recommend using the base object. I recommend using just the the channels on the actual object just doing them but in this case I'll just do object and here what you're gonna uh, here what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go red fade time two seconds basically as you can see it does actually work as you can see the object does actually become red so now what we can do with the trigger is we can change a lot of other stuff. So for example, if I make it copy color of the background, for example, with less saturation, less brightness, and like a slightly different hue, we'll see that this spike now looks like this. So yeah, in overall, it's a very simple trigger. Uh, you can also turn on like blending and that will also change colors a bit as you can see right here the colors are now a bit different and they change depending on what's behind the object so as you can see right here i have a object that i'm going to change the id of there we go so as you can see the color of the outline of the spike reacts to the object behind the spike so uh yeah that is uh blending in geometry dash now we're going to be going back to the color trigger so i've showcased copy color i've showcased blending i've showcased fade time i've showcased most of this there's also legacy hsv you know, just a bit different Obviously, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. So if I just do player color too, and just uh, remove copy color, there we go. And I just play now. As you can see, the color will now change accordingly. And the color will now be this pink that I use for my icon. So yeah, that is basically everything you need to know about the color trigger in Geometry Dash. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!